Hello there, I'm Luca Ricci and I'm a musician. Three years ago, I started a mini course on the basics of music that I had to interrupt due to lack of time. Thanks to different causes aligning to my favor, I decided to resume the recording and editing of this mini course in the hope of making it a regular thing on my channel. But that's enough talk. In today's lesson, I will explain you the basics of tonal harmony. Let's start with the definition of tonality. It is defined as tonal harmony, a series of rules born around the first Baroque period in the 17th century with the so-called common practice that defines a system of relations between the seven grades of a scale and the subsequent harmonic and tension properties between those grades. Before jumping to those relations, we must first discuss the grades of the scale and the concept of interval. What is an interval? An interval is the distance between two notes. It is divided into two categories. Melodic interval, which consists of the pitch distance between two notes played one after the other, and the harmonic interval, which consists of the pitch distance between two notes played at the same time. The first can also be referred to as a horizontal interval, and the last can be referred to as a vertical interval, as the way they appear on the musical stave. A melodic and harmonic interval can be of five types. The unison, fourth, fifth and octave can either be diminished, just or augmented. The second, third, sixth and seventh can either be diminished, minor, major or augmented. The just interval can also be called perfect. It will now be shown a legend with all the types of interval. It must be noted that the inversion, or when of the notes gets played one octave lower or higher of an interval, does not always result in the same type of interval. For example, the inversion of a perfect fourth will become a perfect fifth, while the inversion of an augmented fourth will become a diminished fifth, and vice versa. Subsequently, the inversion of a major triad will result in a minor sixth, and the inversion of a minor third will result in a major sixth. The same concept applies with the second and the seventh. Now that we have grasped the concept of interval, we can start talking about the grades or degrees of a scale. A scale, the succession of seven notes plus the repetition of the first, called octave, is made of seven degrees, as the seven note that composes it. Every grade has its own name, and subsequently a different function inside the tonal harmony. On every degree of the scale can be created a triad, or a sound composed of by three notes played together, by overlapping two third intervals, either major or minor. This brings us to the various triads that are built on the degrees of the scale. Mind that the first harmonic third interval is the one who defines the type of triad. Also mind that for now we will stick to the major scale. On the first grade, called tonic, we will have a major triad, created with the overlapping of a major third and a minor third. On the second grade, called supertonic, we will have a minor triad, created by overlapping a major third and a major third. On the third grade, called mediant, we will have a minor triad. On the fourth grade, called subdominant, we will have a major triad. On the fifth grade, called dominant, we will have a major triad. On the sixth grade, called superdominant or submediant, we will have a minor triad. On the seventh grade, called either leading tone or subtonic in a minor or natural scale, we will have a diminished triad created by overlapping two minor third. These triads, or also called chords, have a different weight in terms of tension that gets built by creating relations between the different degrees. There are three main categories in which we can allocate the different grades of a scale. The tonic function, which comprises the first and the sixth degree of the scale, the subdominant function, which comprises the second and the fourth degree of the scale, the dominant function, which comprises the fifth and the seventh degree of the scale. This leaves out the third degree of the scale that belongs to the dominant function, but will be discussed later on, as it has a particular function that will be used to modulate. There are a number of movements possible between the different degrees, depending on what function they belong to. A degree belonging to the tonic function can either go to a degree that belongs to the dominant or subdominant functions. A degree belonging to the subdominant function can either go to a degree belonging to the tonic function or to the dominant function. 
a degree belonging to the dominant function can only go to a degree that belongs to the tonic function. It is possible to move from two degrees that belongs to the same tonal function, yes, but they are considered weak harmonic movements. What are the types of movements permitted? These movements are called cadence or collegamenti, an Italian word for connections depending on the structure of the piece. For comparison, the cadence are like the punctuation of the phrases, while the collegamenti are the words in between. A proof of this is in the choral form, in which the fermatas and the cadences are placed where the literary text displays punctuations. Let's see the various types of cadences and collegamenti. Perfect cadences can be identified when the root note of the triad, usually but not always in the lowest voice, jumps up a fourth interval or down a fifth interval. Half cadence or plagal cadence can be identified when the root note of the triad jumps up a fifth interval or down a fourth interval. Deceptive cadence can be identified when the root note of the triad moves up to the degree above the degree of the first triad. To these cadences, there are the respective collegamenti, which has one more type of movement that isn't found in cadences. Collegamento secondario, secondary connection, that can be identified when the root note of the triad jumps up a third or down a sixth, or vice versa. There are then harmonic movements not accepted by the rules of common practice. Those movements include the root note of the degree in question moving down to the degree below it. In the next lesson we will expand the practice of tonal harmony by talking about triad inversions and four tone seventh chord. See ya!